Today, I want to share with you a couple of new plugins that I've discovered, and I also want to share with you how I discovered them. I love cruising around the internet and checking out. There's about 40 or 50 websites that I've got bookmarked, and I, I within a within a 10-day period, I'll get to all of them. Uh, as you know, uh, Russ Hughes and Mike over at Pro Tools Expert are are in my top. They're my favorite. I love I love everything those guys do. I learned so much from them. I, a couple of these plugins I'm showing you I found on their website, and then I love KVR. It's it's a great website too. And then my buddy uh, Graham Cochran over at uh, Recording Revolution. I, I checked him out this week, and um, I got a couple of ideas for some future into the lair. So make a note of those and um, support all the various websites that make an effort to give you good solid information at no cost, including that one that has my name in it, all right? So this plugin uh, is free, and I think it's the coolest plugin for you guys. And I wanna show you quickly what it does. It's called Panipulator. It's made by BDL. And you put this on your stereo bus, and now you have access to check your phase here. That's the left phase, out of phase, right out of phase. You can check and see if your if your if your mono compatibility is good, and then you've got different options on which which way you want to check it. So let's check it. Ooh, Dave, that sounded really good in mono. And then now you can flip left and right. This is my favorite. I I, uh, I grew up working on. Uh, a lot of Neve consoles that, that had a button that you could flip things left and right. Now, why would you want to flip, you know, phase is obvious, but why would you want to flip something left and right? Well, you can, like, what comes to mind is you want to see if, how the hi-hat sounds on the left, how the hi-hat sounds on the right. Um, a lot of times it helps you get your stereo perspective and tighten it up a little bit. Think of it as, a, as sometimes you put headphones on and you have a little better clarity in terms of your, of your mix uh, platform and, 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 and width and, 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 and those sorts of things. Uh, but flipping the face, uh, flipping the left and right, watch this, can sometimes do that. Another one I want to show you, and this, this is one of my favorites. Um, it's a little company named DDMF, soon to be big. The gentleman that runs it is very educated and uh, very musical and makes several plugins I like. I, I showed you Meta plugin a while back. And this is his directional EQ. Now what he's doing here is from, from here up, from the blue knobs up, is pretty much a traditional parametric. Now you can choose whether you want each one of these strips, you can choose whether you want them to be High pass, low pass, band pass, different band pass and notch, peak, low shelf and high shelf. And the shelving on this thing is, is really good. Um, so this is where it gets interesting. This technically is your pan knob, but it can also be more than that. And from, from, from here up, the blue, the green, and the orange knobs are functioning like a, a classic parametric EQ. This is double duty this 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 is a pan knob and it can in conjunction with the red knob can can do even more things uh, you can select how you want this to operate with all these options and then um, you can solo each individual frequency which I love and then you can mute individual frequencies now here what we're gonna do is is we can select a frequency, like I've selected um, 1.5K, and um, average bandwidth, half an octave, I'm guessing. And now watch what happens when I pan this. So what I'm doing is I'm panning just the frequency I select. 
So if I want my 1K to go left and my 2K to go right, The cool thing about this plug-in and what I want you to experiment with is this degree knob. This degree knob is more than a pan knob. It works in conjunction with this knob to get things um, a little wider and it also gives you MS options. So you can, you can treat um, the, the, the middle of the mix differently than you treat the edges. So. Experiment with this guy. It's 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 just a badass little plug-in. Now another one that I've uh, that I ran into. I love this plug-in, and this is free. This is by a company called Tokyo Dawn, and um, I I just downloaded it, and and I've fallen in love with it. I got to share this with you. The filtering on this is pretty sweet. You get to choose different types of of EQs, and you can guess what American, British, German, and Soviet are. Let's start with American. Well, let's start with British. And and this, by the way, this EQ saturation knob is just what it says. It's a very gentle saturation that gives you a little color. Um, I mean, that's smooth as heck. And uh, did I just say heck? That's smooth as hell. And then check this out. Now I've got a little color on that 808. And then you've got, of course, the mid and then the highs. And then you've got other options too. You can, you can, um, you can, select different different sounds for your EQ here. You can match the gain coming in and out or you can just use it like a traditional EQ. But for free, this little guy sounds amazing. Check out the Tokyo Dawn website. They've got some really cool new artists and, and some really great sounds. So there you have it. Manipulator, directional EQ, slick EQ, uh, some, some plugins you might not have, have heard of before that I really think you should check out. They can, uh, they won't be a big hit on your pocketbook and um, they really, 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 really sound a lot better than, uh, than what you're paying for them, which is mostly nothing in most cases here. Okay, next time.